What's up everybody, I'm Chase Lee reporting for DallasMovieScreens.com and I got another movie review for you guys and that would be The Pirates of Somalia. Now this one is about a true life rookie journalist in 2008 who decided to basically give himself uh, credibility in the journalism game and he heads over to Somalia to try to hang out with the pirates over there and uh, try to see how their lives are and like what drives them, what their motivations are and just live amongst them for many months and that was going to be his story. Um, it stars Evan Peters, Al Pacino, and Evan Peters plays the uh, title character going over to Somalia. Now, I had no idea what this was about, and so, you know, it's Oscar season, so I've, I've been sent a lot of screeners and links to check out some stuff, and as a courtesy to the studios that send me out these uh, links and screeners, uh, I will review the movie for them, and then I have the review for you guys, so it's a win-win for everyone. Now, this one is from Echo Bridge Home Entertainment, so I appreciate them for sending this uh, through a link, and uh, I decided to watch it because I like the talent involved, and it looks it looked like it could have been uh, an interesting movie, you know, a whole fish-out-of-water scenario, going to a different place, learning a different culture, and uh, really kind of um, absorbing everything that happens when he is over there. And what I got was a terrible movie that didn't know what it wanted to be. All right, so let's get real and break this down. So I guess to start out with some of the positives uh, before I rip this movie a new one. Al Pacino's funny. And they shot in South Africa. So I'm glad they shot in different locations rather than the U.S. to add some type of authenticity. Okay, that's about it. moving on. Negatives. Uh, so there's about five, four to five things that I kind of pinpointed in my head as I was watching it uh, as to the major flaws with this movie. One, it's boring. Uh, this movie is way too long. It feels like it's five hours. There's really no type of you know interest in it. Like yes, the initial interest of this journalist. A journalist going to this random area to get a story that was fascinating but once he got there I was like okay I really don't care because two the second reason why this does not work is Evan Peters he is a terrible lead character he tries to make everything a joke most of the time I don't feel any type of you know emotional weight towards this character at all so even when he does some serious stuff it just doesn't come through because the whole most of the time he's been acting like a, you know, a comedian and it's like, I can't take you seriously. And I just don't think Evan Peters is the a leading man material um, just quite yet. I like him in a lot of stuff. When he was Quicksilver in uh, the X-Men movie, that was fun. He's been really fun on uh, American Horror Story. I like him as an actor, but he is just not a lead yet. Third, Al Pacino. Why was he there? He was in two scenes. You could have literally gotten anyone else. Four, the tonal confusion and the directorial uh, type overall vision for this movie. Let's start with the directing. The overall direction for this film is flat. There's nothing to this. Now, I never saw this movie, but I immediately messaged someone that did see the other movie and asked, uh, what was this movie like? Whiskey Tango Foxtrot. And he told me it was like a blend of Comedy and drama that didn't work. That's exactly what this is because it looked exactly like that movie. And so with the whole director's vision, like it was just so disjointed because you would have all these like comedic scenes, but then you would have like these really heavy emotional uh, scenes where they're not justified because you didn't earn that. Because you've been so jokey jokey up until this point that when you got to the serious stuff, I didn't care. I didn't care about anyone in this movie. I didn't care if the main character made it back alive. I just didn't. Because he, he, he becomes friends with uh, Barkhad Abdi's character, which he has played a small empire before, uh, but he doesn't play a small empire here. But, uh, it, you know, it, it's just when he's talking with him, and, like, he's jokey-jokey, and then, like, he just turns around and does some serious monologues. It's like, no, none of that, please. Um... So I just thought the overall tonal confusion was just all over the place. And hey, listen, you wanted to make this like a straight up comedy? Go for it. May not have liked it, but at least you would have been consistent. You want to make it a straight up drama? Go for it. Don't care. 
But I think just casting Evan Peters wrongfully in this movie leads to that comedy, which doesn't work, and then it also leads into the drama, which doesn't work, then then becomes boring and just tedious, and you're like, can we please just get this movie over with? And at the end of the movie, they had this, like, important stance on, like, journalism and, you know, uh, just Somali in general and, like, people going over the cover. It's just, they were trying to make such an important stance. I was was so checked out at this point. I didn't care. I was like, no, you, you did not earn this at all. Because your movie was so all over the place. There was no flow to it whatsoever, tonally or story-wise. So you were bored out of your mind and you were confused as to why they went from comedy to drama and didn't really pick one or just... Even when they did do the switch, it wasn't even good. So I just... I, I, this movie, no thank you. I'm going to give it a D. A straight up D. I think my favorite part about the movie was Barkhar Abdi. His character was fun, and he felt he felt like he 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 belonged there. Like he was natural, he was organic. Like he was an organic character. Evan Peters was not. It, it just it didn't work at all. And so I just no thank you. Um, and I realize that probably sounded bad. Uh, so do not quote me on that. Uh, where I said Barkhad Abdi feels like he he belongs there. I'm not saying that like you know. Uh, he has to belong in Somalia. No, don't don't even go there, folks. Uh, I just I'm catching myself because this is the internet. No, I'm just saying that when he encounters Bar- Barkhad Abdi's character uh, when he is in Somalia, he feels like a natural presence in the movie, like a natural character, versus like Evan Peters, where like everything is so forced, whether it be the comedy or the drama, it just didn't work. And even when Barkhad Abdi was comedic, or when the drama was there with him. That worked. And maybe because he he treated his character in a subtle manner and not like this goofy, whatever. D, the Pirates of Somalia. There you go. What would you think about this movie? Have you even heard of it? Comment in the place where my face and let me know. I don't want to ever talk about this movie again. I'm Chase Lee reporting for DallasMovieScreens.com. And tune in next time for whatever I review next. I will see you guys later.